Hi little skeletons, it is Disney Queen Skelly here. Welcome back to the Disney Quizzes. So today's quizzes are kicking off with only millennials can score an 18 out of 25 on this 90s decom trivia quiz. Let's see how well I do. If you were someone born in the late 80s to early 90s, then much of your life was probably dominated by the decom Disney Channel original movies, obviously. That is from Smart House. That is one of my favorite, if not my favorite, decom ever. Now, all these years later, it's time to see how well you remember these absolutely classic films. So wake up your inner child and let's get into it. Mind you, I was born in 1998, so let's see how well I do. First, what was the name of the Brink Cruise skate team? So our options are Team Dog and Scrub, Team Wolf and Wash, Team Bark and Bath or Team Pup and Suds? Let's go with Team Pup and Suds. Hey, I got it right. Team Pup and Suds. Who could forget how Andy Brink Brinker betrayed his friends and then convinced the dog grooming parlor to sponsor their skate team as a means to win them back? Classic. Which of these is not in Xenon space vocabulary? I've seen Xenon. Let's see if I can remember. Cetus Lapidus, Lunarius, Mission Critical, Alpha Major. Ah, uh, let's go with Cetus Lapidus. Ah, and it was Mission Critical. Half the fun of Xenon is all of the Stellarius lingo that they use in the year 2049. Oh my gosh, that is 25 years away. And I'm sorry if you picked her signature Cetus Lapidus. I have no choice but to take away a point, sorry. Oh well. What mythical creature is Cody turning into in the 13th year? Ooh, I know this one. He is turning into a merman. Who else was pissed when they turned 13 and they stayed human? The 13th year gave me unrealistic expectations for puberty. Where are my fits? Which character is Johnny Tsunami in Johnny Tsunami? The main character, the main character's dad, the main character's grandpa, or Johnny Tsunami is a myth. Isn't he the main character? No, he's the character's grandpa. Our main character is also named Johnny, but his grand zaddy, who he's named after, is actually the titular Johnny Tsunami, earning the title as a surf champ. Seriously though, this is the hottest grandpa on earth, if you say so. What is the name of the AI technology in Smart House? Oh, her name is Pat. Okay, but honestly, who was a scare who was scarier than Pat? This movie was an inch away from becoming a full-blown horror flick, and honestly, reboot? I wouldn't mind seeing Smart House as a horror reboot, I'll be honest. In Halloween Town, what is Marnie's family name? They are the Cromwells. This Disney Channel these Disney Channel witches are so iconic. Who didn't want to be a Cromwell when they were growing up? Whisk me off to Halloween Town, Debbie Reynolds. Seriously. What color was Andy's infamous nail polish in Motocross? So we got red, pink, green, or yellow. I'm gonna go with green. Andy made Andy made this nail polish work, honey. He made all the other boys rush to Ulta to pick up a bottle of polish so they too could cut down on the arm pump. Whatever that is. I don't know motorbikes, okay? Neither do I. What is the poof point in the poof point? Uh, the point of non-existence, the point you turn invisible, the point of explosion, the point you teleport. The point of non-existence? Hey. It can be dangerous aging in reverse, so it's best to have a couple of tweens around just in case you need them to figure out incredibly complicated quadratic equations with an 8th grade level of understanding math. What could go wrong? So much. So, so much. What is the relationship between Michael and Tommy in the movie Horse Sense? I will say that they're cousins. Good lord. While Johnny and Andy are brothers in real life, the two played cousins in this family horse drama. And I just have to give a special shout out to Joey's tank tops for giving people what they want. Honestly, not a bad looking guy. Which sport is heavily featured in Genius? So we got hockey, basketball, soccer, or lacrosse. I'll have to go with basketball. Hockey! This movie was, has a lot of hockey, but we only see our main character play it like maybe twice. He's too busy being a middle schooler who is also a college student but is also posing as a middle schooler at a different middle school while also being a college professor and discovering the secret to anti-gravity. God bless DCOMs. I need to start watching these. They sound good. What brings the gang back together at the end of the Cheetah Girls? Their moms make them talk. Chanel goes to the hospital. They get locked in the music classroom. Galeria's dog falls in a hole. They get locked in a classroom? It's been a while since I've seen these uh, movies. I was wrong. Galeria's dog falls in a hole. Poor Toto falls in a hole and shuts down an entire block of New York City. It, ma it makes national news. The power gets shut off. Emergency workers contemplate cutting through the street. This is drama, baby. What do they call the snowboarders in Johnny's Tsunami? Punks, vipers, urchins, or vermin? Let's go vipers. Urchins! I often forgot this movie is actually about snowboarding and not about surfing, but I'll never forget rooting for the urchins. Urchin for life. 
finish alert. There's no gravity between us. Our love is, I think it's stellar tastic. Dang it, automatic. Oh, that's right. He was that, um, was it that musician guy? Who could forget the absolute babe that is protozoa or the classic song Supernova Girl or this beautiful doll Xenon made of him to win a fan contest, all seared in my brain. What kind of aliens were Ariel and Cosmo in Stepsister from Planet Weird? Slime aliens for a covered gas bubble or a light particle? Oh, I'd have to assume gas bubble. Yep, I, the only reason I'm assuming gas bubble is because one, it's Disney Channel, which means kids watch it, and two, kids laugh at farts. <clears throat> Life is hard on, on Ariel and Cosmo's home planet, Zer Zerkalon. If you're a freedom fighter gas bubble who disagrees with the planet's dictator like Ariel's mother was, you'll get popped. That's right, mommy popped. Traumatic. Which one of these DCOMs was not based on a true story? Double teamed, gotta kick it up, the color friendship or the genie project. Uh, I've heard of double teamed in the color friendship. I've heard of gotta kick it up too. I've never, I don't think I've heard of the genie project. I'm gonna go with the genie project. The genie project was based on a book, not a true story. And that is abundantly clear as this chimp steals a mail truck, ends up getting sued and has to testify in court. I mean, kind of wish it was true though, right? <laughs> Honestly. What flavor milkshake does Brink throw in Val's face? Let's go with vanilla, cause that's, oh, it was chocolate. That, that of vanilla is usually like the most common, like thing, like milkshakes thrown at people. What a moment in cinema. Val had it coming the entire movie. And when that chocolate shake finally, spl finally splattered all over him an entire generation cheered. What is the name of the band that sings Slam Dunk Defunk, which Ben and his friends know all the choreo it to in Smart House. I was supposed to remember the name of them. Let's go with together. Damn it, it was five. Of course it was five. This British boy band apparently captured the hearts of Ben and company, leading them to spend hours learning choreography, like all straight middle school boys too. I need to rewatch Smart House. That's one of my, that is my favorite decom ever. Why doesn't Kelly's dad show up to a drill team competition in Cadet to Kelly? Oh, he fell off a cliff. What a clumsy guy. Gotta be careful when you're bopping around taking picture, na taking nature pics. Those cliffs are known to come out of nowhere and suddenly you're plummeting to your doom with your only teen daughter to save you. Cadet Kelly is actually not a half bad movie. In fact, Louise liked it pretty well. Not, not his favorite though. That will still go to dad napped. Which A-list celeb was an extra in the 13th year long before they were famous. Ooh, I'm gonna go with, I hate to say it, Brie Larson. It was Kristen Stewart. Oh, she was so cute. Little baby K Stu played a disgruntled middle schooler waiting in line for the water fountain. What a role. Her mom was script supervisor on the movie, so naturally her daughter was given a small part. Hollywood, baby. That's, that's cute. What kind of creature was Calabar's administrative assistant in Halloween Town? Shit. Um... I think she was a pincushion woman. Yes, she was. Why is she a pincushion? No one can say, but she leaves quite the impression in the few moments she is on screen. We'll never forget you, pincushion lady. At the end of Luck of the Irish, another favorite of mine, it's it's Smart House, Luck of the Irish, uh, Read It and Weep, I could go on. In the end of Luck of the Irish, Kyle banishes the evil Seamus to the shores of Great Lake. The, sh the Lake of Eri. You don't know how to pronounce your ancestors' lakes, or he says something like that. It's Oiri. And he goes, oh, my ancestors are from Cleveland. <laughs> Beating the evil leprechaun at his own game, this decom ends with a wholesome drowning in the middle of our nation's Great Lakes, and that's fun for the whole family. Glug, glug. In Can of Worms, what is this alien's profession? They got jobs. Let's go with an accountant. Talent manager. Are you seeking representation? I suggest looking elsewhere. TBH, he was just one of many aliens in this film who made it their mission to give us nightmares for life, and they succeeded. That looks nasty. Never. In Don't Look Under the Bed, Francis's little brother gets captured by the boogeyman in what? Toy car, paper bag, a sock, or a bed sheet? I will assume a bed sheet. It was a sock. Of course, what else would it be? Arguably the only silly part of this movie that still terrifies me even though I'm in my 30s. Check in on your imaginary friends, y'all. <laughs> okay. What made Jack famous in You Lucky Dog? Rescuing his dog, reading his dog's mind, winning a dog grooming competition, or hosting a doggy talk show? Let's go with reading his dog's mind. Ayy. Oh, to be a dog psychic, and not only a psychic, but being able to fully channel dog spirits to the point of chewing on shoes and burying bones in the backyard using just your bare hands and mouth. Disgusting. <laughs> oh, Lord. And finally, what was the very first decom? Oh, shit. Was it Brink? It was under wraps. Oh, shit. Hang on. We're going to go back to the top and read that. 
If you thought it was Brink, you're not alone. Many people think that that was the first, but it was in fact the third. Preceded by Under Wraps and You Lucky Dog. Guess kids love mummies. So I scored 13 out of 25. I scored better than 67% of all other quiz takers. Disney Channel Kid. You were definitely watching more. We were definitely watching the Disney Channel growing up, but you might have liked the shows more than the movies. You probably watched DCOM here or there, or watched some of the behind the scenes uh, during commercial breaks while you wa waited for Lizzie McGuire or even Stevens to come back on. But DCOMs weren't the priority. To each their own. I honestly love DCOMs. It was part of my childhood growing up, but I don't remember these because I, again, I, I was born in 1998. And a lot of these just stopped showing when I was a, when I grew up, so not my fault. Let's move on to the next quiz. Okay, guys. So because that last quiz actually took so long, we are all, this is gonna be the probably the last quiz I take today. Maybe we'll see. So this one is only hardcore Disney fans can pass this quiz revolving around the only the first five minutes. Let's go. I won't lie. My ability to re recollect random movie scenes isn't Lightning McQueen fast. Never mind my memory of Disney animated films. But can you answer these 12 Disney animated film questions that all revolve around the opening five minutes of each one? Give it your best shot. In Frozen, the ice harvesters say, split the ice apart and break the what? Uh, I see heart. Dang it, Frozen Heart. I always forget this song is even a thing, and it's pretty important. Yeah, it's basically the plot of the movie. In Aladdin, what is the peddler character singing Arabian Nights riding in the opening scene? A camel. The peddler is voiced by Robin Williams. In Beauty and the Beast, what does Beast tear with his massive paws, killer claws for the feast, when we first see him in the prologue? Oh, it's the portrait of himself. That'd probably be worth millions on the market, man. You must control your te you must control your temper. <laughs> and Encanto, what is the name of Mi Mirabel's abuelo? His name is Pedro. I'd only get this one right with the process of elimination. Oh, it was probably all female names. In The Lion King, who do we first see holding baby Simba? That is Sarabi. Rafiki shows Simba to the crowd of animals, but we, the audience, first see Mama Sarabi holding and cleaning him. And he's so cute. In Snow White, where does Snow White sing, I'm wishing? Ooh, voice is cracking. A well. Wishing on a wishing well, the prince interrupted Snow White's song, all buddy the elf style, and yelling, today, still kills me. <laughs> it's honestly funny. In Moana, what does Maui use to steal Tefiti's heart? Uh, he transforms into a bug, does he? He does. He does not. He uses his hook. It's been a while since I've seen Moana. And he did even say, you're welcome, shakes head in disappointment. In The Little Mermaid, whose name is brought up that Eric had never heard before? Shit. Um, Davy Jones? <laughs> King Triton. Shit. Sorry, D. He's been living that sheltered prince life. He's no sailor. He's got city <laughs> I need to rewatch The Little Mermaid. In Mulan, a great wall guard tells Sean Yu, now all of China knows you're here after he does what? He lights a beacon. The beacons are lit. Sorry, wrong film. <laughs> That's funny. Entangled, what do we first see Mother Gothel doing to Rapunzel in the locked tower? Rocking her to sleep, smelling her hair, brushing her hair, or feeding her baby food? I think think she's smelling her hair. Oh, she's rocking her. Oh, look at that glow. Shampoo commercials could never. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, in the tower. Okay, I thought they meant in the castle. In Hercules, according to the muses, they are goddesses of the arts and proclaimers of heroes. Heroes like Hercules. Honey, you mean Hercules. <laughs> that went from zero to hero real quick. In the Emperor's New Groove, what does Cusco's theme song guy jump out of? A cake. Oh, yeah. I scored better than 56% of all other quiz takers. Eight out of